Hello, I'm Chelsea with Nourish for Life, and today we're going to discuss the difference between celiac disease, an allergy, and an intolerance. So to start off, celiac disease is an autoimmune condition. What that means is when someone with celiac disease eats gluten, which is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye and their derivatives, that protein is ingested and then that person's body is triggered by that protein to attack itself. So autoimmune means that the immune system is attacking the person, the body of the person. So this causes all sorts of symptoms. Celiac disease is associated with 200 or more symptoms, um, some GI related, some not. Some people with celiac disease have no GI symptoms at all. But with celiac disease, there is damage specifically to the small intestine. That's where the immune system attacks. There can be, you know, symptoms all throughout the body, but that damage to the small intestine is a hallmark of celiac disease. Next, we can talk about a food allergy. With an allergy, if someone's allergic to gluten and consumes it, their body recognizes that gluten as a harmful substance and attacks the gluten itself. It's not attacking the body like in celiac disease, it's attacking the gluten. So, but it triggers an immune reaction that can have all sorts of side effects. And then when we talk about an intolerance, an intolerance does not involve the immune system at all. So if someone consumes, um, let's say it, it could be gluten, it could be a certain number of foods or different things. Someone consumes the gluten, their immune system doesn't react, but for some reason their body can't process gluten the way that it should and they have symptoms because of it. So it could be rashes. A lot of the symptoms can be severe. They can be debilitating. It doesn't necessarily mean just because the immune system isn't involved that it isn't a severe reaction. It just means that we can't test for a specific antigen to diagnose an intolerance. And intolerance is usually diagnosed when things like allergies or celiac disease have been ruled out because there's no immune reaction. We've tested for it, it's not there. This is considered now to be an intolerance. So just to sum up, an autoimmune disease is celiac disease where the body's attacking itself. An allergy is where the body's attacking the allergen. And then an intolerance doesn't involve the immune system at all, but can still cause similar symptoms. I hope this is helpful. Please like and subscribe if you'd like more content like this. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.